Welcome to our educational video about ordinary shares. An ordinary share, also known as a voting share, is a fundamental form of corporate equity ownership. In different parts of the world, it is known by various names. In the United Kingdom and Commonwealth countries, it's called an ordinary share, while in the United States, it is referred to as common stock. It is the most prevalent type of share traded in stock markets globally. Today, we'll explore what owning an ordinary share means and how it differs from other types of shares. Owning an ordinary share in a company comes with specific rights and privileges. Primarily, it grants the shareholder the right to receive dividends and to vote at annual general meetings. However, it is important to note that ordinary shareholders receive dividends only after preference shareholders have been paid. This distinction in dividend distribution is crucial to understand for anyone investing in ordinary shares. Ordinary shares represent proportionate ownership in a company. This means, if you own ordinary shares in a company, you own a part of that company. For instance, if a company has 10,000 shares and you own 500 of them, you effectively own 5% of that company. Each share typically entitles the owner to one vote, making ordinary shareholders a critical voice in major company decisions. Every public limited company or PLC must issue ordinary shares. This is a legal requirement in many countries, including the UK. There must be at least one ordinary share issued to a shareholder, ensuring that there is legal ownership of the company. Ordinary shares are more common than preference shares, which have different characteristics and advantages. Now, let's compare ordinary shares with preference shares. Preference shares, or preferred stock, offer certain advantages over ordinary shares. They typically come with fixed dividend payments and are prioritized over ordinary shares in dividend distribution and liquidation scenarios. Preference shareholders are higher in the repayment queue if a company becomes insolvent. Investors often prefer these shares in higher risk scenarios, like investing in startups. In summary, ordinary shares are a key way to own a part of a company and participate in its governance through voting rights. While the dividends for ordinary shares can vary and come after preference shares, they offer the potential for greater involvement in a company's decisions. Remember, whether to invest in ordinary or preference shares depends on your investment goals and risk tolerance. Thank you for joining us in exploring the world of ordinary shares.